Hey everyone, I'm Ben from JLab Audio, and today I'm gonna to take you through our Talk USB microphone. If you guys have the Talk Go or the Talk Pro, just head down to the description. We'll have a link for those how-to videos right there. The Talk is our mid-tier microphone. It comes with three condensers and four directional patterns. You don't need any software, any plugins to make it work with your computer. All you have to do is plug it in and you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and open it up. Comes with everything you need, super simple. The tripod base is gonna screw into this 5 8 slot on the bottom. Unfold the legs and you're all set up. You can use the 5 8 inch mount uh, somewhere else as well. You could use a boom pole. Um, you could even unscrew the mic up here and have it sit like you would uh, a radio mic. But we're gonna be using it on the desktop today. So we'll use the tripod legs, those out. And once it's sitting down, you can adjust uh, these screws right here to tighten or loosen the mic so you can swivel uh, to your liking, right there. And all we need now in this box is the cable. You'll also find uh, the quick start guide in this box that'll talk you through more of what we're going through today. The talk comes with a USB-C to USB-A braided cable. All you have to do is plug it into your computer, plug it into the bottom of the mic, and we're powered up and ready to go. The talk comes with four directional patterns. Cardioid, Omni, Stereo, and Bidirectional. So you can choose which one uh, fits best for what you're doing. Bidirectional is great for an interview. It's going to record on both sides of the mic. So if you have two people sitting around, uh, it's great to pick up both of those voices. Stereo picks up the left and the right channel. That's great for things like music recording. Omnidirectional is great for things like a conference call where you have multiple people. And then cardioid uh, just picks up the one direction, which is great for something like a voiceover where you just want to hear yourself. Uh, when it's in cardioid mode, um, you want the mic facing you with the buttons towards you. Cardioid is going to pick up just this side of the microphone. So if you see the JLab logo in cardioid mode, you have it facing the wrong way. All you do to select those different ones is turn the dial. And it also comes with a quick mute button right in the middle. Press it, you'll see it light up red. That's how you know the mic is off, it's muted, and just a quick press turns everything back on. The talk also comes with volume and gain control. So if you're plugged in, uh, you can monitor yourself, you can adjust the volume, but you can also adjust the gain of the microphone, which is how loud the input is, how much input is putting into your computer or whatever you're recording with. So you wanna turn the gain down. If it's too loud, turn it up if you can't hear it very well. Super easy to do. Again, knob on the bottom here. So you'll see that blue light going up and down. That's for the volume, that's for the headphone. All you do is push that and that changes it to the gain. You see, same thing. You'll see the gain level go up and down. Uh, so you can watch your levels on your computer, adjust the gain as you need to. That will turn back to blue, but if you don't push the button again, you'll still be on gain mode. You'll see it's still green when I'm adjusting it. If you wanna go back to headphones, just press it. And now we're on the volume control. So again, if you wanna use uh, monitoring on the mic, all you do is plug into the three and a half millimeter headphone jack on the bottom. And now I can hear what's coming into the microphone. The Talk microphone works with any software, any operating system. It works with Windows, Mac, even Linux. All you have to do is plug it in and you're ready to go. I'm gonna take you through uh, some different software um, that you might use it for. Microsoft Teams, Zoom. I use Adobe Audition, GarageBand. I'll show you how to make sure that you're using the microphone's input. So I have a Mac. All you have to do is go to System Preferences, Sound, and instead of the internal microphone, select JLab Talk Microphone. If you have a PC, if you're running Windows, then from the Start menu, go to Settings in the Control Panel, and then go to System, and then select Sound, and then you're gonna change the output and the input device to the JLab Talk. We use Microsoft Teams here at JLab, uh, and all you have to do with that, let's say you're joining a call, 
We have our microphone selected here. To make sure that it's on, we go to custom setup. We see that the microphone is already selected as the J Lab Talk microphone. But just in case, if you have built-in microphone set up, all you have to do is go to that drop down and select the talk microphone and you're ready to go. In Adobe Audition, which is what I use all the time for my voice recordings, just go into Adobe Audition, Preferences, Audio Hardware, and we'll change the default input and output to the JLab Talk microphone. Yes. So now our input is using the mic and we change the output so that we can use the monitoring on the microphone to hear ourselves. We hit okay. We can start a recording. And now we're using the mic's input. So as we're recording, like I said, we can change the gain higher and lower, turn the gain up, turn the gain all the way down, see the, those waves disappear. We can change from cardioid to omni, again, stereo, bi-directional, whichever you're using it for. And as you're recording, all you do is press quick mute button, turns red, you'll see that there is no sound coming out of the microphone. Just press it again, and we're back to recording. I just opened up GarageBand, and we can see right away there's a little pop-up that says, do you want to use the audio device J Lab Talk microphone? Yes. And we're ready to record with the mic. If that little window doesn't pop up, same thing, we just go to GarageBand, Preferences, go to Audio, MIDI, and we would change the output device and input device from built-in to the J Lab Talk microphone. So that's all there is to the Talk USB microphone. Really easy to use, really easy to set up. It's portable and you can use it with a boom mount. You can use it with our tripod stand, any way you like. If you have any other questions that we didn't address, leave them down in the comments, we'll get them answered. If you're having any issues, reach out to our customer support. They're always there to help. And as always, tag us at JLab Audio. Show us how you go.